Yeah, g'day YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again here with another video. Today, what we're going to do is play around with the side plate. Always wondered how much influence the side plate has on cutting. Anyway, if you do a bit of a search, you really can't find any information. And what I mean by that is is that what we're going to do, we've sharpened this chain up and we're going to do time-based cutting on the same log. So nice sharp chain, rakers are all set. We're going to cut a log and see how long it takes to cut through that log. Then I've got some cutting to do, so I'm going to be using the chainsaw probably for a couple of hours. So what we'll do is blunten this chain through normal cutting and then we'll sharpen it up, but we're only going to sharpen the top plate, not the side plate. So what will happen, we'll bring the grinding wheel down so that it just sharpens the side plate only. And then what we can do is have a look how long that takes to cut through that same log being blunt on the side plate, how much difference it makes. I really got no idea how much difference that it's going to make, but I suspect, if anything, it's only going to be a few percent. It's not going to be some huge amount. Because from my understanding and my experience, the working corner is the thing that does all the work. The side plate only severs some timbers, some loose fibres. So we'll do that. And we'll see how uh, how it performs. And just before I do that, I'll just show you how much the grinding wheel will come. What we'll do is the grinding wheel, if you have a look there, that grinding wheel is only going to grind the top plate. The side plate will not be ground. So we'll put this chain uh, on the chainsaw. And we'll cut a log and we'll get a time and we'll see uh, how that performs. Okay, so we cut that log in uh, 12 seconds, which is pretty normal, you know, 12, 11 and a half, 12, something like that. I've done it that many times before, so that's roughly what I expected to get. Now, this is the chain that we used, and I cut up some other timber off and on, off and on for about three hours till I felt that it was reasonably blunt, that it really needed sharpening. You know, it was taken like 20 seconds to get through the logs. So that's blunt. Now what I did, and we'll just sort of show that, is that I set the grinding wheel so that it only ground the top plate and not the side plate. So hopefully we can get in there and have a look at that. There's the tooth there. Can you see where I just ground the top? And you can see how dirty the side plate is here. Nice and dirty there. So we only ground the top. So we've got a very sharp point. So this is the only part now that's going to cut through the log. And we'll test that out. And we'll see uh, what the performance is. It's going to be interesting to see because I can't think of any other way that you could test the side plate for its cutting ability. And to me, it's the only the best way is to test it when it's blunt and when it's sharp and see what the difference is. And so that'll be interesting to see.
Okay, so we ended up with uh, 13 seconds on that one there. And the previous one was uh, 11.9, close enough to 12 seconds. So it roughly works out to about 8%. So the side plate, if it's blunt, is going to reduce the cutting performance by about 8%. And, uh, yeah, I thought it was probably anywhere from about, around about the 5%, because I always sort of, from a lot of literature that I always sort of read, that the side plate really doesn't contribute that much. It's severs fibres. It's the working corner, the first millimetre and a half on the top plate and the first millimetre and a half on the side plate. The rest of the side plate from the thickness of the top plate down to the bottom of the gullet really doesn't do much. And that's what I wanted to demonstrate. So yeah, about 8%, that's about what uh, it is. So yeah, this, there's a, another bit of information on what the side plate does. And the other thing that I found out also, cause I tried it on Hexa and I tried it on a few other chains. Cause it didn't take long just to use the grinder, just to uh, sharpen and And I'm finding out there's a little bit of a variation, you know, five, six, seven, eight percent so 8% was about the, the worst case scenario or the best case scenario, whichever way you want to look at it. There was an 8% difference between blunt and being sharp. So yeah, being blunt, 8% reduction in uh, cutting speed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.